welcome back to Talking Training. So it's been a little while since I last did a train review, when we went for a ride on board an Endeavour railcar. Today, I'm going to cover off on some rolling stock which is exclusive to the Hunter Valley. So come and join me for a ride on board the Hunter rail cars. Delivered in 2007, and first painted in the City Rail livery, the Hunter rail cars are a staple of rail transport in Newcastle, and obviously on the Hunter rail line. The Hunter rail cars allowed the final few 620 and 720 series rail cars to be retired, and this really helped modernise rail travel across the region. Interestingly, the design of the Hunter rail car is based on the Prospector rail car used by TransWA, which were built a few years earlier. The Hunter cars, however, only have a single engine in each carriage, rather than the double engine layout that allows the Prospector cars to reach 200 km an hour in testing. Still, the Hunter rail cars are capable of 160 km an hour, although in service they're pegged back to 145. Onto those engines, each of the rail cars is fitted with a Cummins QSK 19R diesel engine, rated at 559 kilowatts, or about 750 horsepower in the old money. These are each driven through a Voith T312 BRE, which is a three-speed hydraulic transmission, making these trains diesel hydraulic rather than diesel electric. The alternator is driven by a Cummins six-cylinder diesel, powering the aircon and lights. So, let's have a listen to that complex arrangement of engines and gearboxes as we travel along. Inside, you may notice that the Hunter rail cars have many fittings and fixtures that look at home on the Oscar trains. You'll find the same style of seats, similar internal destination signs, a similar looking bathroom surround and similar doors. To be fair, they did come out of the same factory at around the same time, so that shouldn't be too much of a surprise. What is a bit of a difference is that there's a cutout for an exhaust, which takes up a reasonable amount of seating space. At least they have used that area to stick a route network map over the exhaust shroud, so it does serve some purpose. So the Hunter line has two separate branches, with one heading to Scone and the other to Dungog. Most services don't head that far, with many of them finishing at Talara, just past Maitland. The furthest I've travelled on the Hunter line is out to Singleton, 
and that was on my Endeavour Railcar review and is how I managed to catch the Hunter Valley buses Mercedes 0405 in H. In terms of Hunter Railcar travel, I've only ever caught one as far as Maitland. In the future, I would like to see a little bit more of the network. That being said, these seats, much like those fitted to the Endeavour and Oscar, aren't super comfortable, meaning you can get a sore bum after 40 minutes or so. That's not ideal when the train from Newcastle to Scone takes around two hours. It's also the same numb bum problem you get if you catch an Oscar from Newcastle to Sydney or from Sydney to Kiama. Overall, I do like the Hunter Rail cars as they are better designed for suburban running than the Endeavours making them better suited to all stations to Talara runs than the Endeavours. Dual sliding doors, sideways seating areas and decent wheelchair spaces make them much more practical for stop start hunter line runs. Anyway, I think we've had a pretty good chance to have a look around the Hunter Rail cars in today's video. So as we arrive at Hamilton Station at just after 5am, it's time to say thanks for joining me and I'll see you again soon.